The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant was designed to withstand the fiercest of earthquakes. As soon as the plant lost power, diesel generators kicked in. Even as workers like Danny Yudi were dodging the crashing debris, trying to get out. He said he cut his feet and it slowed him down. And that's what he said was, was, he said, that was my lucky point. It slowed me down. He said, or otherwise, if I'd have been a little faster, I would have been in the tsunami and washed out to sea. But then at least one of the generators failed, crippling the cooling system that pumps thousands of gallons of water through one of the plant's six reactors. Heat began to build and so did pressure in the form of steam. Plant managers began considering releasing some steam into the reactor's containment unit or even into the air to prevent an uncontrolled leak like the one at Pennsylvania's Three Mile Island in 1979. So humans can withstand a certain amount of radioactive vapor with no problems? Right, because what you do is when you have that vapor released from the site, it automatically goes into the atmosphere and spreads out. So it's not a, it's not a significant amount and it's not a concentrated amount. Still, when radiation levels inside the plant climbed to 1,000 times the normal level, the evacuation area was expanded from a two-mile radius to a six-mile radius. Japan's 55 nuclear reactors provide about a third of the nation's power. 11 of them were in the earthquake zone. The fact is that uh, a dozen of these reactors have shut down uh, and have done what they were designed to do. But now comes word that the cooling system has failed at a second nuclear plant. Extra generators are being trucked in because getting a consistent source of power to the systems at both plants is going to be the key to averting a meltdown, Katie. Nancy Cordes, Nancy, thank you.